Hello, my name is Pepper. Welcome to Christchurch Airport. So it's been a bit of a journey for us um, at Christchurch Airport um, as our business. Last year started looking at um, understanding how robotics um, could integrate with some parts of our business and um, we thought of Pepper, the humanoid robot from SoftBank. Um, so we, um, we got some of them and we, uh, uh, we're now collaborating with the University of Canterbury's heat lab um, to um, really make an inquiry and turn it into a learning project to see how Pepper could integrate into a passenger interaction with our terminal. The nearest ATM machines are located in the food court area here in level one. For the next several months, um, together with the university, we will use this space here, but also, um, which is our digital innovation zone, but also um, the university's heat lab, uh, to basically run a set of tests and, um, and en engage with the general public right here in, in the heart of our terminal to see how they interact with PEPA, what our learnings are, how we can fine tune it for a better interaction. And it's basically, for the next three to six months, is going to be a lot of learning. One of the things that we see that, that the HIT Lab can bring is um, we understand technologies really well and we understand people really well. So one of the questions around uh, this particular application is to figure out from a user experience design point of view what is going to work. So for example, you have time to kill at the airport. Um, how can the robots be used to entertain you? How can it be used to give you useful information like directing you where the cafe is? The goal is to really explore the space of, of everything that robots could do to help out and then um, and methodically go through and do the science behind figuring out what's going to work and what's not. And that's really what the HitLab brings is this ability to work deeply with the technologies but also understand proper evaluation techniques to figure out, hmm, this could work, um, and then to go forward from there. So it's very, very exciting.